All right, chat, we're going to start with Hacker Replay uh, 126. This first match should be an interesting one from what the one text file said. If the text file is correct, I believe we're going to be looking at a five stack of cheaters, but it's one cheater and then four alts that he's AFK on, and he's trying to boost all of the alts at once. But in this match, we have Quaybus, who's accusing... Fatud Siege, uh, but it's the 226 guy. So he mentioned that all of the drones, or not drones, sorry, all the other players are like bots and they're just walking around. And he's just like, I don't think they're real players. Like this drone in front of us, like, and this drone, it's just moving back and forth. This drone as well. This is the Jackal one. So, f so far, three of the drones are just walking around. The Thermite's actually droning out. I quickly checked the text document just to confirm. So, the Thermite looks like he's not stacked with them. These three are, because they're, like, as you can tell, they're just, like, moving very slowly on their drones so that they don't get kicked for AFK. They're just moving back and forth. Meanwhile, the, the Thinka is going to be an actual player who will probably be boosting them. As you can tell... So Zofia, Glaz, and Jack are just going to be AFK. They're moving back and forth. He's knifing in the air, aiming down sight, whatever. The Thinka is probably going to run in and kill everyone. This Thermite is just an innocent bystander from the looks of it. He is just trying to play the game because he was actually doing stuff and he doesn't have stream mode name. Meanwhile, you can already tell the Thinka is locked onto the Bandit or Jaeger here. So... It looks like he has three accounts that he's just going to boost. The fact that he is losing this gunfight is insane. He has like lock on aimbot, why not just use the pistol? Are they controlled by the cheater or are they just players boosting? I assume they're controlled by the cheater because since they're all just AFK doing nothing, like this guy has to own all these accounts. He's trying to probably boost each of them and do them all at once. And obviously given the name, like Fink has the same name as Jackal. So he's probably running multiple accounts just trying to boost them. What we have is essentially one cheater who's running half the lobby. Now, will he change or, like, use any of these? I don't think so. I think they're just going to be AFK the entire round. So this cheater either has four PCs that he is running to run all these accounts on, or I think it's probably more likely he probably is using some type of virtual machine to have these accounts connected. And like, so he can level them up because they're not doing anything. I feel like if he had four PCs, he would just swap over to a different PC and then play on that account. It's one of the two, but either way, he is boosting all these accounts, obviously. Which in case you're wondering why he's boosting three accounts in standard is so he can get them to level 50 and then sell them. People will buy accounts that are level 50 just so they can go right into ranked on a smurf account. It's possible once they reach 50, he'll also boost them to champion and then sell them to people who just want a champ account. Which is crazy because all people need to do is just pay $5 to my Twitch channel and they can get my charm, which then will get them to champ. You can save a lot of money just by summoning my channel instead of paying for a boosted account. Hey everyone, just a reminder that my charm will be available throughout year six. If you haven't picked it up already, go make sure to subscribe at my Twitch channel. You can either use Twitch Prime, which is free if you have Amazon Prime, or subscribe at $5. Thank you guys so much for your support. One PC, three virtual boxes. I would assume it's a virtual box, but then why does he not play on those after? It seems weird that he only plays on one. Because it's a, if it's a virtual box, he can just swap between them like it's nothing. So I don't think we got the real name, but I'm sure it won't be too hard to find, hopefully. Also, this is in standard, by the way. This isn't even ranked. This is standard that he has... He's boosting all these accounts on. So I would assume all these accounts are probably under level 50, and he's trying to get them to level 50 so that he can sell them and then um, make, I guess, some money off of them. So I actually just released a TikTok today talking about how 
the best thing we can do for Siege is to team kill cheaters whenever they're on our team because it delays them. Like, it just makes them waste more time before they can actually make money off of their accounts. So if they lose a match, huge waste of time. If they lose a round, it's some waste of time. Uh, so if you team kill them, even if it's just for one round, that's wasted time, wasted money. No way he got so tunnel visioned on one person that he didn't notice the person behind him. Who was it? Bro's fucking tunnel visioned. Hmm. It's also a waste of time for everyone else in the game though. People always argue that point. But at the end of the day, I think it's for the greater good. If it's three minutes, you know, it's not that bad. And then my whole point was that if you can actually make the cheater lose the game, uh, it's not a waste of time. It's only a waste of time for the people on the cheater's team. But you get the MMR back. So it's, it like evens out. Whereas for uh, the team that wins against the cheater, they get to keep that MMR. Even if the cheater gets banned. So it's not really a waste of time for them. I'm very curious what he'll do on defense, and if they actually end up losing or not. Because he's like very blatantly aimbotting, but he's so bad that he's not noticing when other people are around him. And now they're bringing two sh or three shields. No, two shields. He just has LMG. So these two are doing the same thing. So they've been doing the same thing the entire game. They, uh... They don't have any variation, so one just punches, one moves with left to right. Oh, he can just, like, hip fire headshot them no matter how far away they are. Tough. Want to see if they end up winning or not. Yeah, the cheater obviously wins. I'm surprised this guy didn't, like, clue in that he's cheating or he just doesn't care. Um, okay, let's try to find the match. Well, the one teammate... He had that was a normal player was level 245 so i'm very surprised they didn't team kill but when you look at their stats they were previously like bronze and copper so they probably just like yeah whatever i don't care about this game uh unfortunately can't find the match but so from the looks of it obviously this guy has all three of these accounts on virtual machines or something and he's boosting them probably trying to get them to level 50 since it is just standard very pathetic this is why it is your responsibility to team kill cheaters if you can. Waste their time. If he had even like wasted one more round, that's four minutes extra that he has to waste to try to get to level 50. It adds up over time. But first match done, obviously they're all connected to him and they're cheating. We're moving on to border. Ranked match. All right, in this match, we have Janitor Access, who's accusing... Oh, this is also another like lot of cheater match. All right, Bluish Savage, uh, Zaza, 2273, and I Spec I. He's accusing all three of them. This one might take a while to watch, but we'll, we'll see. I'll just like switch between them based on who's actually getting kills. I think Valkyrie just shot at someone. That was a reaction from the looks of it. Because yeah, it's one, two, and five. I guess in this case, 6, 7, and 10. That looked fine, because it, like, he was basing it off of the sound, but it did look weird that he was just kind of staring up there. It could be just to try to get better sound cues by looking at it, and then you can know what direction the sound's coming from. I think it was fine. Especially given that, like, the first time he tried to shoot Nomad, he uh, reacted. Oh, did we get bugged sound now? We did. That was a headshot? Hold on. I'll restart after this. But that was a headshot? Oh, uh, the recoil gave him one. Okay, I'll restart the match so we can get sound. So I already saw that. It was a recoil headshot. Okay. 
out. Three dumb fly. I want to rewind to see that, but I'm scared it's gonna bug out. Looks like sounds still working. Reacted and lost the gunfight. Capcan was also accused of cheating, so Zaza and Bluish Savage, who are accused of cheating, are both dead. It looked like he basically almost tracked him, but just like by sheer chance, and then didn't react. There is a red ping. He's looking at 90. I might use the charge over there. Oh, okay. Didn't pay attention to that. Uh, so far, not really seeing anything suspicious. All he says in the text file is that his team claims that they were cheating the entire time. We'll see. The issue with a um, match with like three people like this being accused is... I don't know when we call it. If they are like not looking suspicious at all, like do we just skip a few rounds and see if they get suspicious then? Because what if we miss something in between? But I also don't want to watch eight rounds of three people who don't look like they're cheating, at least from the first round. Even that one looked like it was just a reaction. She looked at Nomad and just didn't shoot. And then shot after. Again, just to see if anything happened, like why they look prone level. Is that? I think the ace punched that prone level. Hold on. Okay, so they did see the hole at prone level, which would make sense why they would re peak this aiming low instead of like aiming high. Uh, but. It's also, it sounds just weird that the ace peaked him prone. It also did not look like it was supposed to go around the corner, but it did. If I'm not mistaken, this looks like he just sees thermite cross and then sprays through and happens to kill thermite because he repeaks. It was weird that he aimed at the bottom left corner when thermite happened to like crouch there and stuff, but he saw him cross. That was like, I don't know, I guess that was like the fourth almost wall bang from the looks of this. I, was like, I guess I can see why they think he's suspicious, but so far it's just, it's been two rounds. It does feel like there's a slight skill disparity. It feels like the orange team is just very roam heavy because they know what they're doing, whereas blue team just kind of seems scared and lost a little bit. He keeps going on uh, cams once they spawn to see if he can tag anyone, or ID anyone rather. Oh, he's doing my cap can trap spawn. Let's go. I'm pretty sure I learned that from another creator, but I'm going to call it mine. Okay, I think cap can here light someone up. The shooting oh, at the dog.
While it is a little weird that he gets like the perfect lineup through the wall. It also kind of looked like a pre-fire, so... And like he knew he was on the balcony, obviously. He just shot at him. The guy had just broken the door. He repelled right into his view. Didn't shoot at the glass for some reason there. and he missed. Another reaction. He got one bullet off. Maybe we'll skip to overtime because like I feel like if he's going to or if they're going to be cheating they'll be cheating in overtime. I honestly from these three rounds I haven't seen a single thing that I would say is like oh yeah they're cheating. At most, like, the Valkyrie getting three or four wall bangs in one round was weird, but every single one, I believe, he or Valkyrie saw the... Oh, and they just reported him for that. And that. Uh, I... Uh, I don't know about that. Just for those kills? Like, I don't think so. Tons of cheaters and Ubisoft doesn't give a damn. Well, you know what's really bad when Ubisoft uh, gave like an openly console cheating content creator a charm. You know, at that point, they just don't care. Um, I looked into it a little bit more, and it, it's obvious like how bad the situation is. Basically, there's a I think he's Mexican content creator because uh, I think he I read some of his tweets and they were in Spanish, so I assume it's Mexico, maybe somewhere else in Latin America. I don't know. But he's a content creator who like openly posted about how he was using Zim last year. He was like posting photos of his Zim that he bought and then streaming with it as well. And then they gave him a charm. So You know at that point Ubisoft just doesn't care. If they did care, uh we would not have that happen. Yeah, that was where I just ran out. Reaction shot. I don't even like that crazy good of a reaction either. Not saying they're bad, it's just like... It's not like they were immediately shooting as soon as they were visible. It took them like a full half second to do that. And it looks like they're coordinating like... I think... At the very least it looks like Ash and Flores are together. Because they keep working on stuff together. Like they keep doing callouts. And then Valkyrie's just staring at them. And he react he doesn't even know Valkyrie's there. I don't think they're cheating. I'll finish this round and then we'll see. Another reaction. And then just walks in. Get killed by the turret. I twitched eyes to someone in a corner that they didn't notice. Oh, this will be really funny if they win this way. Oh, but there's... Oh. Let's say the drone's far enough away that they can't... Well, yeah, I, I honestly, I don't think they're cheating. I don't think any of them are. I know that they already reported them, so I don't think it gets any more suspicious. I'll just see how many kills they finish with. If one of them, like, aces in the last round, then maybe we'll watch it. But other than that, I think it's fine. I don't really like to skip rounds because in case we miss something suspicious, but... We watched four out of the eight, and nothing popped up, so... This guy gets three kills, this guy gets two kills. And then the blue team also tried to surrender, but it was denied.
I I think it's fine. I saw like how much they were using cams. I saw how much they were pinging, how much they were coordinating together. I think they were just a coordinated stack. Probably a skill difference, which, I mean, not knocking the team for reporting it because, let's be honest here, matchmaking and siege, especially in ranked, has been fucking horrendous. So they have every right to be concerned, but I don't think that was an actual cheater match. So I think all three of them are fine. Uh, we'll move on to a or our third match, which is the skyscraper one. So in this match, match number three, we have Mao T underscore T, who is accusing their own teammate user thirty eight. This is a ranked match, and it goes to six rounds. I did see that. I think it was Jaeger had a champ background. So this should be probably high elo, which makes the chances of a cheater being present way higher. You need a gavel? I actually have a gavel. It's on my bookshelf behind me, or like way back there. I used it when I had the Judge uh, Varsity stream. A little ranky dinky though, so it doesn't... not as heavy and powerful as an actual gavel. What is this guy doing? He must be cheating already, because like, he's just done so much weird stuff. And the fact that he has a champ on his team means that he should be doing a lot better. Uh, I think he's. I, I think we saw a little bit of him almost tracking the ace through the wall there, but we'll watch the next round. Reporting own teammates usually equals cheater. Sometimes I, I do get a decent amount of submissions from people reporting their own teammates, but it's like. There's a wow, my teammate got 15 kills, like they might be cheating, and then they won't watch it back, they just wait for me to do it. Very few people will be willing to do like what I normally do, where I just suicide and then watch my cheating teammate to confirm. The fact that he's looking at the drones through the floor there makes me feel like he probably is fairly confidently cheating. Because if I'm not mistaken, that drone wasn't even on the... Oh no, it was on the black stairs. Yeah, he's very likely cheating. Okay. That means he's probably cued with the cap can, the fact that the cap can reverse friendly fire or like uh declined it. That IQ is still trying to cook nades from the looks of it. I think he's cheat. I think he's just bad, but I think he is cheating. It looked like he was trying to track the IQ. He kept changing his aim based on crouched or uh, standing, but you could argue that he'd be able to hear that. Also, the lost with uh, with Marka or whatever his name is, the one that he team killed is the one with the champ background. So, if we watch through this, it. We might see that he's probably getting boosted by user. We'll see. Also, thanks for sub. Pietrox. Pietrox. I don't think he's cheating. Oh, I, th I think it's like 99% sure he is cheating. He literally tracked a drone through the floor that he had no vision on. I don't think you get more obvious than that, but I need like proof of him actually killing with cheats to make it even more obvious. Also this like movement tech that he keeps trying to show off but he's not doing anything with and then he all of a sudden just goes like ham trying to pre-fire people. I think it's even more obvious. Looked like he was about to try to line up that guy through the wall and then realize the wall was reinforced. He's also doing an, uh, an absurd amount of QE, 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 QE to try to make it look like he's doing something. And like his aim just makes no sense, but then he goes to where Osa is and he's ready for her. And then does 360s for no reason. I think he's cheating. And yeah, like none of his crosshair placement makes any sense. 
in terms of like where he should expect them to be. He's just aiming at random stuff, and then all of a sudden, as soon as he's close enough to fight them, then he knows where they are. I think that's the proof right there. So he does a 360, goes too far, but then it locks onto the zero. But look, so he does right here, he does a full 360 and then locks, it literally like locked onto zero's head. And then he walks around the corner. I, I think he's cheating. We'll even go back and see like, if I'm not mistaken, he was just staring at the drone, like, locked on. He also has a copper background to try to, I guess, throw people off. I think he's just bad. I don't think he's a good cheater. But he runs down the stairs. Again, like, zero until he's just doing random QE and, like, 360s. And then look here. He's just staring at that drone, like, perfectly. And he had no, like intel on it like solus is across the map doing her own thing there's no way solus called that out he just knew the drone was there i bet if we go to the last round he's gonna be very obvious so i'm just gonna point out in the in round three i think he was like three and two and now he's 11 and two let me just see how many kills did he actually get yeah he got eight kills in these next two rounds we'll watch these it'll probably be way more obvious so basically zero drone work and then he gets a 4k. And then he team kills again for some reason. I don't really understand. He's done it twice now. But this time it looks like to not a friend. So they didn't reverse from the, or like revert it. Oh, that's so I'm just pointing out, uh, we have very little time left in the round, and he AFK'd for a second to probably turn on his cheats. I think we're about to see something way more obvious in the last three rounds. Ready for the dock rotating. He doesn't know where the default cam is, bro. There's no way this guy isn't cheating. He doesn't know where default cam is, but he knows where everyone's gonna be, and he's like pre firing so fast. No, he's cheating. A hundred percent. He's got walls, but bad aim. It's bad aim and just bad like game sense. He does not know what he's doing. Bro, his aim's so bad. Oh, and now we get the glitch perspective because uh, the lesion mine. Like, he's still doing 360s and stuff. Oh my god, it's so bugged. Also, I think that was probably the most obvious one, but unfortunately because of the lesion mine or goo mine bug, we don't actually get to see what it looks like. It's hard to try to, like, imagine, but basically, okay, so he kills Solus here. Which, by the way, he's aiming here. His aim's terrible. But then, look, when he goes over to Kaid, he aims down sight. This is his aim right here. He's aiming at the door, or, like, in at this corner. Lines him up, and then there's, like, a weird flick that happens there. It's almost like because he dies, it, like, flicks down. He's definitely cheating. And then just bad game sense where he's trying to pretend like he's not. He's 100% cheating. So here's the guy that he team killed, but then the guy reversed it for him. Uh, he is level 98, like never played before champ with a 1.3 KD. And I assume if we can see his match history, he probably plays with that guy all the time. It's probably this one. So he's with a user who has uh, 
and 90% or 91% win rate with a 2 KD. Yeah, he's definitely cheating at level 120. And then he's boosting this guy. Uh, or maybe he's not. No, he is. He's with user again. He's with user again. Also, like the fact that his name is literally the same thing, but uh, user again, user again, user again. So he's either being boosted or maybe this guy's cheating too. I don't know. His win rate's also 85%. But the guy he's queued with, 100% cheating. Well, let's go to our fourth match, which is Consulate. Uh, I assume it's you, with certain mode name, who's accusing Yusuf and Jay. Oh my god, they're on opposite teams. Fuck, it's gonna be, it's gonna take a while to watch. Okay, so in the text document he says, I have no idea who is cheating. The only thing I was suspicious about was that Jay has a very high KD this season compared to the last, and Jay was said Blank was cheating. But who the hell is Blank? There's no Blank in this lobby. Unless Blank is supposed to be Yusuf. So he accused Yusuf of cheating, but he himself is cheating? He gave me his real name so I can look at the match stats after. Because he says he has R6 tracker. We'll watch. I guess we'll just watch Jay. I don't think... So I assume Yusuf isn't necessarily cheating. It's just Jay accused Yusuf of cheating. And if that one match we had is any indication, the cheaters will just say, Oh no, they have a cheater. That's why I'm cheating. So, we'll wait for that. He doesn't wait that long. It looks like he doesn't know the map layout, but he's still trying to peek them because he knows where they're going. Even this, I think he's trying to go peek them, but he he thinks that that there's something else there. I don't know. He just seems lost, and he also just keeps like staring at the wall, which is usually a big indication of cheating, because they just they do that to look around and see where the other team is. He's like, just, he's so confident that no one else is anywhere over there. He just, he knows that they're both there, which, I mean, it's possible. You could be like, the last two are at breach, and you just know that they're there, because it was Ace and Thatcher. But the fact that he's outside, being live pinged, and he's still confident enough to push, I think he's cheating. And he clearly is using it as bait every time that he is about to push, and then Thatcher is like, okay, time to push him as well. He backs up and runs back to the hallway waiting for him. I think it's guaranteed that Jay is cheating. I don't know what he was shooting at there. like oh, hopefully the door isn't bugged i think it's gonna be oh no we're good it looks like as thatcher's approaching he's like aiming lower and lower in preparation and let's see how he acts with the the last person i mean he is getting live pings did he just do the three i've, I've been seeing this a lot and i think it's just like a cheater thing when they activate some type of cheat I don't know what causes it, but it's really buggy. It almost looks like they do a f perfect 360, but I don't think they actually move their aim at all. I remember when I was spectating one of the cheaters in one of the matches we had, I think they did the exact same thing. I was like, what the fuck is this? You know, I mean, they still actually do they have default cam still? We don't know. I would assume not because the ping stopped. Um, I think he just knows that they jumped through the wall. Oh, one of the cats is just howling. And then, so, I mean, you would be able to hear them grab the diffuser, to be fair, but 
I, I think it's pretty obvious he's cheating. I bet if we go to overtime, he'll be super obvious. He's just looking through the walls to clear where people are. I mean, Yusuf does have 12 kills, but based on how the guy like wrote the text document, I, I don't think he's actually accusing Yusuf. I think he's saying that Jay was accusing Yusuf. So I don't want to bother watching Yusuf, but... Oh, okay, yeah, he's definitely cheating. He just tried to fucking free fire a guy who he thought was there, but turns out that he's behind the wall. No, this guy's 100% cheating. The guy who has submitted it, his name was Blop main. Oh, it is this match right here. Ten and six. They win. So Jay on his team. Um last season had a 3.1 KD as a bronze. Barely played ranked ever before the rank rework. Is only level 81 and now is at almost 2 KD in Emerald. Yeah, no, he's cheating. Uh, we still have two more games to watch. I think they're going to be a lot more obvious, though, because I saved the more obvious ones for the end. Um, next match is Outback. In this match, we have... I think he didn't tell us his stream mode name. I think he told us his actual name. Okay, he says he was on his team, or the cheater was on his team, and the cheater he's accusing is Full Metal, which means that he is Buck. He is small PP. Okay. In this match, he just says Full Metal is either a cheater or he is just the best. I feel like it might be pretty obvious right off the bat. His aim is already rough on a window. Also, thanks for some Fearless Queen. So, wait, hold on. He... Let me get this straight. So he sends in the drone. Correct. And then he doesn't even drone out the right side, but he just walks in because it's clear. He checks on drone, looking over here, sees that it's clear. Jumps in, just knows that none of these corners have a defender. Do the new grenade thing. He's not like afraid of anyone being anywhere, he's just running right through. That looked like a reaction shot. He got two bullets. Just sprinting through. He does not care. Doesn't even shoot the camera that's spotting him. And then he tries to take the fight. It's weird. I'll point out that I saw that Oryx had a champ card background. The Nook doesn't feel like a champ. Nook didn't really look like they were walling. <clears throat> other than that shitty drone work that somehow cleared out the entire bottom floor. But they also weren't playing smart. They were just sprinting through sight instead of actually trying to like plant or clear or anything, they just ran right through. My jaw still fucking hurts. Dies to that. Okay. Not time I saw him. Also, Capcan has a champ background. So far, he doesn't feel like a champ. half-assed attempt to clear the window, but the entire enemy team is basically dead, so. He 
It's not hunting down the last guy. But so far, just the first round was a little weird. Oh, wait. He's holding this hallway, and no one is on cams or checking anything. You could argue that maybe Gridlock or Zero would be like, I hear them above me. But then Sledge runs around, does a 360, which we've seen only cheaters do all these 360s today. And then pre-fires, somehow getting a headshot there? What is the spawn peak? I actually almost lost that with the best DMR on defense. Let's see. Watch the chart. Oh, he doesn't know the sledge is behind him. Okay, I don't know. He seems weird. He either dies really early to things that he should be checking, especially if he's walling. But then sometimes, I'm like, the only kills I've seen him get so far are weird that he shouldn't be getting them. I guess it's not the only way, but I feel like the main way you'd be able to get the kills that he's getting are if you had walls. There's not one thing he's done that I can say that he's cheating. Nothing I'd say that would be like obvious, but just weird was the first attack round he had. Or not first, sorry, last attack round he had. Where he... like And, and that, like he just pre-fired the Cali, which I get you'd maybe be able to hear a little bit, but... He moved his aim to right where she was about to peek and then pre-fired. And then, like we said on the one attack round, a sledge, he does, he sprints across the floor, does a 360, and then pre-fires exactly where the warden's about to be. Which it didn't seem like the rest of his team knew where the warden was going to be, so... This seems weird. like that so that was actually good game sense he heard the fuse run around he goes to pre-fire him fuse starts walking away so he looks down but then he dies to the fuse so it's like is he walling or is he just like getting some crazy kills and it just seems very suspicious and he's only three and four on that side of the map. I mean, he does happen to open that as soon as the guy's about to go up that ramp, but it could have been just sheer coincidence on timing, right? I feel like the most obvious round, if there is going to be one, will be the last round. Because cheaters very rarely will let the last round go because they want to guarantee a win. And like he almost perfectly peeked him there, but then died because he just didn't react. So he's holding this, holding this, holding this. Ace finally comes to swing. So he finally swings back at him. And it's like he's holding the angle, he just doesn't shoot. And then Ace kills him. Let's just go to the last round. I I feel like here we'll see something. It's also only four and six. So he either fucking like pops off here or I don't know. Even the, the text document doesn't really line up with what I've seen so far. So the text document says... <clears throat> He's a suspected cheater because the enemy team kept saying he was cheating. He was killing two or three people at a time with weird flicks, which is like the warden one that we saw. 
However, when I spectated him, he didn't look blatant. He was just using comms, or he was using comms and asking for callouts. He seemed polite, but also seemed to always find the enemies regardless, which I've noticed as well. No matter where he is, there's always an enemy there somehow. But then sometimes he dies to an enemy that he should be seeing, he just doesn't, so I don't know. Watch the last round. Because he's 4 and 6, like, if he's cheating, I feel like he has to do something here to win the game. Oh, 30 seconds in. 30 seconds in, he's, he's back. Zero intel. He's catching up to Sledge. He also had someone on his team calling out that someone was in reception. He pinged it for him. We saw that. I think it's the pulse. It's the pulse. A little wary. He waited... He waited for zero to clear this? So, he didn't know that Master was clear, but he waited until Zero had cleared it, but then flicks over and team kills him. Interesting. But he's not worried about bedroom or anything. He even gets the front reverse from the fire deactivated. Does he know Pulse is here? Pulse is live scanning him. He shouldn't know that Pulse is in here. Oh, now he would be able to hear that because he put away the scanner. Then he just runs past... What? Like, what? Okay, I don't... I don't know. He did some weird stuff, yes, but, like, he is so oblivious that there's no way that he's cheating. I'm sorry. And this is somehow a champ lobby? Two people on the enemy team are champs. He just seems lost. But at the same time, I agree with the statement where he's just like, he just always seems to find enemies. Like, yeah, that's true. He does always seem to find them, but I'm sorry. How is he a champ? Like, he has been champ for so long. I, I don't know about that, guys. He's also level 446. I feel like I've seen him before in standard. I remember the name, Full Metal, but I, I cannot say that his stats had all lined up with how he was playing. He seemed very lost and very confused. And it's not like it was standards where he was just like, oh, I'm just messing around. Like, he just straight up seemed dumb in that match. I mean, it for the time it was submitted, it was at 11 p.m. Maybe he just had like, I've seen it before, people just get drunk and play ranked and don't care. Maybe that was a, I don't know. But I, I don't think cheating, but I don't think his stats at all lined up with how he played. Uh, maybe he just had a fun night on Siege and just didn't care whether he wins or loses, and that's why he was playing dumb. I don't know. But also, I'm confused by the one text document that said, like, either he's the best player ever or he's cheating. I'm like, he didn't even look like the best player ever. He looked terrible. Anyways, we're going to move on to the final match of the day, which I feel like probably will be an obvious one, but we'll see. Uh, we have Freezy.exe, who's accusing Barcode. It's only a seven-round match, and it is standard, so it's probably going to be a bit more obvious. And then we'll go play with Drew, and then I gotta go at three. What a weird mute jammer. Okay, 30 seconds into action phase, and he has finished setting up. Here's them breaking into ATM. On. He's playing mute very aggressively here, but it is also standard. I have to watch this back. It almost looked like he refired him, like he knew Ash was about to peek this, and he has no teammates on cams, or we would be given a call out on that. It's not like a crazy pre-fire, but it did feel like that was fairly fast. But we'll see, maybe. He got lucky. Once does not make a cheater.
Is the barrel sticking out? Ready for that one, that was fine. Just the ash one was a little weird. The fact that he also C4'd the ash, uh, alludes a lot more to cheating because that is, like, I'm not saying he is based off that, but one thing that a lot of cheaters will do is whenever they think that they might have done something that's a little bit too suspicious, they will kill them in a way that the kill cam won't show what they did. A C4 is one way to do that. He knows the person was down, he saw them go down, and yet he, for some reason, throws a C4 at them to finish the kill. Could be so that he doesn't see him pre-firing him in the kill cam, or maybe it's it's also standard. He could be just messing around. I don't know. But so far, just the ash kill was a little weird. Because it also looked like, just for example, if he's aiming here at the door, he was aiming like at the actual door frame as opposed to on the corner, which is not what you would want. Because if they peek you and you're aiming at the door frame, how do you hurt the person? at the door. I don't know. Watch more. So we also still haven't confirmed that uh, it is the right person who submitted it. I'm always skeptical when it happens to be the top left and top right person. Seems terrible for drones, but he was shooting people like it's nothing. That aim was atrocious. His mirror setup's also backwards. So now he's getting kills, but he doesn't seem that good. Just wasted so much time by reloading an individual bullet each time. That upsets me. Looks like no one else is with Monty. No. What am I eating? I'm eating a sandwich. What is Tachanka firing at? Oh, over there. Not good. How is Monty just pushing up? So how is no one shooting Mira through the hatch? She's just standing out in the open, completely visible. This must be a, I feel like, lower level standard lobby. God, that aim's so bad. That was a reaction. That's good. Instead of pre-firing, he actually like didn't know she was there. Who was that? Maverick? Maverick. Didn't know Maverick was there and then reacted to it after. Buck just dropped into sight. I have no idea. Okay. And they die. First round was the only weird one. So far they've been fine. Unless he like starts pre-firing through barricades and stuff, like I, I don't know if we have anything to worry about. 
When you got three more rounds to watch, and then we'll go play standard with your boy Drew. He did see the Aruni there, but then he looks away. Ooh. Not, not a good round. For some reason, somehow only the SMG-11 was like the only gun he could control. Every other gun he's been terrible with. The SMG-11, I wouldn't even necessarily say he controlled it well, but he controlled it, I feel like, better than half of these guns. Now he's just like, aiming at nothing. Also, he did not just teleport there. That was just match replay catching up. Did the one Lars drone not go off? It did, it just didn't make a noise. That's weird. Match replay be like. He's using the Flores drones to like try to kill someone. I which by the way, I remember when we had the early capture session for the Flores season. Everyone was trying so hard to get like a natural Flores kill. Because we thought it was supposed to be used more as a weapon <laughs> rather than utility. Like we knew it was mainly meant for utility, but we're like, like it's gotta be usable as a weapon, right? So we just kept trying and trying and trying, and the only kills we ended up getting were the ones where people were like basically fed it to us. Okay, he's pushing into garage, completely undrone. There are two people in here. Wait, oh that's his teammates. I'm so dumb. I thought it was the colors were reversed. I'm so used to orange being defender and blue being attacker. Again, he's using his Flores drone to try to kill Tachanka. Like, Tachanka's not going to stand on that. Please use it to open up the wall. What the? guy crossing was pretty ass. It's fun. Happened to line up with the guy in the vault, but I think that was just coincidence. What the fuck are those aces? He just threw it over. V1, one in vault, one in elevator. He knows one's in elevator. Don't think he knows one's in vault. He just saw him cross. I think they threw that more than he clutched that. Unless we see something crazy, I don't think there's much to go off of. Like I said before, we had that one round with that one kill, and that was like minorly suspicious the rest of us has all been fine if anything it's just, it's it's fairly bad level lobby overall okay. oh, what is this guy doing it's giving me a headache so dumb now they reported him. Weird. Yeah, his drone just bugged out or something. Did he just pick up a drone there? Wait, what? I swear he just picked up a drone? But he had already put both drones in lobby. I, I don't, I don't know. Okay, last round, I, I don't know. This guy seems dumb, but the whole lobby seems dumb. And I know like most people who run it are running it as a troll, but like two people in the lobby or three people in the lobby have copper like card backgrounds. So I feel like they're actually genuinely just in copper. What is he doing here?
Bro was trying so hard to hide. <laughs> He missed so many shots, bro. Should not be missing that many. That's Buck dead. I don't think he understands that because he just tried to wall bang him. But once you get the assist, you should know. Oh, he just saw them. Didn't even look at him after he's been holding that the entire round. Oh, he doesn't realize they're upside down. <laughs> okay, I don't think he's cheating. Nothing really has been too crazy. Probably just got lucky in that one round with that one kill, and then everything else has been fine. I think he's fine. So it was this match. Everyone in this lobby is copper, but I don't know if that's based off of... Well, it looks like just not many matches played. This guy is level 105. Nothing crazy, no history. Very few matches played, just 9 ranked matches, 33% win rate. I think he's fine. Probably just got a little lucky on that Ash kill, and then everything else was meh. So, I think he's fine. Uh, so that means today, just to do a quick recap, how many cheaters did we have? We had 4 cheaters in the canal lobby. And then zero in border. User 38 was cheating. I think that was five. And then J was cheating six. Full metal was not. And then barcode was not. So we still had six cheaters, even though I think three of these matches were innocent. So still a lot of cheaters. And now apparently they can play with multiple accounts at once. Hope I don't ever have to deal with that.